so what asok command does is it actually helps you out in modifying the file extension associations what it means is that how does your computer knows if you have a .txt file that it has to be open it with notepad or any other text editor or if it is a .c++ file it has to open it with vs code or some other editor or if it is a pdf file it has to open it with acrobat reader or microsoft edge or any other software how windows know uh, these things so association of a file type with a program you can modify that with this command it's short for association called as asok how i pronounce it it can you can pronounce it differently as well now it's very powerful and it needs admin rights if you want to run it so let's talk about it and uh, understand how it works hello there karan here and uh, in this video we'll be exploring the asoc command a handy tool for managing file extension associations in windows in its simplest form the asoc command allows you to associate a specific program or command with a particular file extension this determines which application should be used to open file with that extension so this is the syntax how you can use it so for example uh, to associate all .txt files with notepad you can use the command as follows let me open another terminal and i think as we have discussed you need to run it with administrator right so what i will do is i'll press windows r i'll type cmd then i'll press control shift and enter when i do that combination it automatically asks me do you want to run this at administrator i'll say yes and now we have admin rights in the command prompt so what i will do is i'll first check with which file my text files are with which program sorry my text files are associated so i'll say a soak you can write it as small letters as well i'm writing it as caps right now so i'll say dot txt and it says it is it is associated with a key in the registry named as txt files txt file so if i open registry i have opened registry here and if i write txt or txt file here you see there is a key named txt and if you go inside that key let me close everything i was checking it before the recording this video so txt file and if you go in shell you will see there is a open command and inside the command is that you have to open the file with notepad.exe with percent one symbol what if i want to open it with any other program or i want to <laughs> make the txt files invalid in your system what i will do is this is very powerful i am no, i do not recommend that you do that but first let's see what powers it possess so write asoc and write dot txt and if i go back to our help menu it says you can write extension then equals to sign or file type and then file type so extension is the file extension that we want to associate and file type is the path the file type to associate with the file extension so in the registry key there are multiple file types that are defined for example i think there will be mp4 as well so let's see there is a vbs file type as well and you can uh, not this one let me go with vlc let's say vlc 3gp or something yeah mp4 mp4 is pretty famous not m4v mp4 yeah this one so if i open if i want to open the text file with vlc media player what i have to do is i have to just write here vlc.mp4 i don't have to modify anything i just have to write vlc.mp4 how let's do that t.txt now i'll write equals to i'll write vlc.mp4 and i'll press enter now you saw that the explorer here refreshes uh, sometimes it doesn't take effect immediately you have to restart your system or log off and log in and then whenever you open your text file it will be opened with vlc which doesn't which actually doesn't make sense but this is how that the behavior will change 
and if you want to get it back with the notepad with how you will do that is just write the same thing dot txt here write text file and now when you refresh your system again restart or log off login it will be open with uh, notepad again note that you are not changing any command they are already saved in your registry what you are doing here is you are just connecting and disconnecting your file type with one programs registry key that is all so that is this is pretty much all what it does and you should try one thing if you want to if you do not want to mess with your system and do not want to corrupt your system do not do this because you know your exe files are defined in exe file file type if you mess with that like in the beginning you can also remove that with writing this and you press enter now your exe files will not be valid anymore if you restart your system and that means most of your programs will not run so i will not recommend that i will get, get it back done so yeah i don't want to corrupt my system so this is what it does basically and uh, what you can do to check the current association of file extensions such as dot doc files what you can do is let me clear the screen you write so dot doc you will see it will open with word ms word if you want to see all the file extensions you write so and you press enter it will tell you which extension is associated with which file type key in the registry and then you can go in and try to modify stuff but be very very careful when you are dealing with registry now so in conclusion the aso command is a powerful tool for managing file extension associations in windows whether you want to associate specific file types with certain programs remove associations uh, or dive into the registry for advanced configuration the aso command gives you a flexibility to control how files are opened in your system i hope you found this quick tutorial on aso command helpful if you have any questions or any doubt feel free to leave a comment in the below comment below and uh, yeah give it a like if you don't like the video give it a dislike do subscribe and yeah share this video with your friends who love to learn about command prompt or windows wonders so thank you so much see you in the next video bye bye take care